Welcome to Wajo's 2022 virtual block party. My name is Mace Francis and I'm the artistic director of Wajo. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge that we live, work and play on the lands of the Wajak people of the Noongar Nation and Wajo pays their respects to elders past, present, present and future. Uh, we would have loved to have played for you live today, uh, but with the current situation uh, with COVID in WA, we had to make the, deci the difficult decision uh, to ensure that we keep all our members and audiences safe. Uh, you just heard from the Minter Ellison Monday Night Orchestra, led by Ricky Mallet, uh, and they performed Rocks in My Bed, and they sounded great. Tonight you will hear from each of the bands um, and all the brand new band members. Before we hear from the St John of God Healthcare Tuesday Night Orchestra, I want to tell you a little bit about the year we have planned. In April, we'll be joined by the exceptional trumpet player Jessica Carlton, and she'll be paying tribute to the great trumpeter and composer Kenny Wheeler. She'll be joined by the Wednesday Night Orchestra playing some of his classic music, like the Sweet Time Suite and A Long Time Ago. In June, we'll be back at the Recobite with a show called Beats and Pieces from Latino to Electro. And this is, uh, is going to be a night of two halves with uh, the ever popular Latin Explosion show that we've done over the last few years. And then a brand new collaboration with uh, staff and students of Ab Music. So this is going to be a night of Latin grooves and fat beats. That's fat with a PH. Uh, in July, Gemma Farrell meets Wajo. Uh, Gemma is a Wajo alumni, saxophonist, composer. She's the band leader of the Artemis Orchestra and faculty lead of the Young Women in Jazz program. Gemma will show us what the saxophone family can do because she'll be playing all of them, maybe at the same time. Who knows? <laughs> You've got to be there. In August, we'll take you back in time when a good night out meant dressing up and heading to the local dance hall and dancing the night away. We're going to have a night of classic big band swing music uh, and repertoire for dancers. Now we're going to feature the trombone, which we like to you know, call the backbone of the big band. So the trombone sometimes get a bit of a bad rap, but it is a very important part of the big band. So to show everyone uh, what the trombone can do, we're going to have three of Perth's finest trombonists, Jeremy Gregg, Catherine Noblet, and Will Pethick. Musi these three musicians are all Wajo alumni, and they all came through Wajo in sort of different eras of, of the band. In October, we returned to Downstairs at the Madge to celebrate the 100th birthday of some great composers and musicians. Charles Mingus uh, would have turned 100 years old this year, uh, and he's a, he was a bass player and a composer who wrote some incredible music through jazz history. And several members of the Count Basie Orchestra would have turned 100 this year. Eddie Lockjaw Davis, jo Joe Newman, Frank West, and Ernie Wilkins. So we'll be playing a night of uh, music celebrating the, the music of Charles Mingus and the Great Count Basie Orchestra. Then to finish off the year, we're going to be playing the best of 2022 at the Quarry Amphitheatre. So this is an opportunity to, to see all three bands perform, and the repertoire will be the best of the repertoire throughout the year, as voted for by the band members. Uh, it's going to be a huge year ahead, um, and that's just the performances that we uh, sort of talked about. Uh, we also have our Pathways program, which is made up of several workshop programs for high school age students and our Young Women in Jazz program. We have some regional tours planned later in the year and our Compose in Residence program. So there's never a dull moment at Wajo. If you like what we do and want to keep in touch, please sign up to our e-news follow us on our so socials and check out our website, wajo.com. But now for some more music, we're going to hear from the St John of God Healthcare Tuesday Night Orchestra, led by Marty Pavan, performing Love for Sale. Thank you. 
uh, thank you for that wonderful performance from the Tuesday Night Orchestra and their rendition of Love for Sale. I'd like to now take this opportunity to acknowledge and thank uh, the following people and organisations for their generous support. Our local government partners, the Department of Local Government, Sport and Cultural Industries, Healthway for the Act Belong Commit message, and the City of Bayswater as our facilities partner. Our principal partner, Northwest Shelf Gas, the Mindaroo Foundation, our major program partner, Minta Allison, our Monday Night Orchestra Naming Rights partner, St John of God Healthcare, our Tuesday Night Orchestra's Naming Rights partner. I'd also like to thank the Simon Lee Foundation, the Ben Dent Foundation, the Stan Perrin Foundation, and all of our wonderful private donors, seat sponsors, and 240 Club members. I'd also like to acknowledge the support and leadership of our board, our volunteers, and of course our wonderful staff, Monique, Emily, Justine, Amanda, and our artistic team of Ricky, Marty, Gemma, and Tom. Lastly, and certainly not leastly, I'd like to acknowledge and thank our incredible musicians who are, have all played in our bands today and are sounding amazing. All this valued support keeps the development of our young and talented musicians going. And as artistic director and on behalf of Wajo, I sincerely thank you all. To finish with now, I'd like to introduce the Wednesday Night Orchestra playing a piece called Kind Folk, composed by Kenny Wheeler, and this will be featured at our first concert at Lyric Lane. Thank you, and we hope to see you all soon.